In this video, I will be demonstrating how to uninstall your Spitfire Audio libraries. This can be handy to do if you are looking to complete a clean install or simply no longer wish to use your libraries on your computer. As we make dedicated plugins and plugins that use the Contact and Contact Player engine, the process will differ depending on the plugin type. To uninstall your plugin library, you will need to locate your library install folder. This is the main folder where your samples, patches and presets folders are stored. In this example, I'll be uninstalling Aperture the Stack, so I'll be looking for a folder titled Spitfire Audio hyphen Aperture hyphen the Stack. Once you have located this folder, you can delete it by right clicking and selecting Move to Bin. Next, we need to delete the plugins files for this library. By default, these files will be located in the plugins folder in your computer library. To get to this location, open a finder window, select go to folder from the menu bar and type in the following location, backslash library, backslash audio, backslash plugins. In this folder, you will want to delete the relevant library plugin file from the components, VST and VST3 folders. For Pro Tools, you will also need to navigate to the following folder and delete the .aax file for the library you are uninstalling. If you have any custom plugin locations set, you will also need to delete the plugin files from those locations too. In the event that you are uninstalling all of your Spitfire Audio libraries, you can delete the spitfire.properties file from the Spitfire Audio folder in your music folder. In Files Explorer, Navigate to the location of your install folder. This is the library folder that contains your samples, patches, and presets folders. In this example, I will be uninstalling Aperture the Stack. Once you have located this folder, please delete it. Next, we need to delete the plugin files for this library. In Windows, these files can be installed in a number of locations. The best way to locate your plugins is to check the location set within the Spitfire Audio app. You can do this by navigating to the Settings tab in the Spitfire Audio app and checking the VST2, VST3 and AAX install locations. Once you have identified the locations of your plugins, you will want to navigate to those folders and delete the relevant plugin files. The plugin files will be named after the plugin you are using and will either end in .dll for VST2 plugins .vst3 or .aax for Pro Tools plugins. If you are deleting all of your Spitfire Audio libraries, you can delete the spitfire.properties file from the Spitfire Audio folder in your app data folder. For contact libraries, navigate to your library install folder. In this example, I'll be uninstalling Albion 1, but you can find the detailed list with all of the library folder names in the description of this video. Once you have located the library install folder, delete it by right-clicking and selecting Move to Bin. If you are uninstalling a contact player library, you can also navigate to the Preferences folder and delete the relevant .plist files for your library.
Doing this will change the install status for this library so that native access will display it as uninstalled. For contact libraries on Windows, navigate to the install location of your library folder. Once you have located the library install folder, please delete it. If you are uninstalling a contact player library, you can set the library as uninstalled in native access by opening your computer registry and removing the library folder from the following locations. To uninstall the Spitfire Audio app on a Mac, you will need to remove the Spitfire Audio application from your Applications folder. Next, you will need to remove the Settings folder from the Spitfire Audio folder in your Music folder. Doing this will break the connection between your libraries and your DAW, so if you want to continue using your libraries, skip this step. To uninstall the Spitfire Audio app on a Windows machine, open Windows Control Panel via the Start menu and locate the Spitfire Audio app from the Programs list. Double click the Spitfire Audio application to begin the uninstall process. Once this has completed, remove the Settings folder from the Spitfire Audio folder located in your App Data directory. Doing this will break the connection between your libraries and your DAW, so if you want to continue using your libraries, skip this step. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question, and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks, and exclusive Spitfire content.